Now, we can't make disasters impossible, but we can prepare for them. We can take steps to minimize the damage that they do. We can make sure that our people, whether they're our employees or our customers, are protected to as great a degree as possible, that our people are trained for emergencies. One sure rule of disaster is that those who fail to prepare for disaster guarantee its arrival. And let me repeat that. Those who fail to plan for disaster absolutely assure that they're going to fall victim to one. And here's the awful truth about most of it. Most of them could have been prevented. According to FEMA, preparation for disaster, anticipating its likelihood, where it will strike, how it will strike, putting in place the tools we need to respond to it, costs less than $1 out of seven, sorry, $1 out of six, for what we end up paying in damages and damages and recovery afterward. That makes disaster management, from a business standpoint, a good investment. Because here is the second rule of disaster. No disaster arrives by itself. It never arrives by itself. It triggers secondary and perhaps even worse disasters in its wake. Disaster and risk management consists of four major steps, and forgive the quality of this one because it's borrowed. Planning, response or prepare, uh, planning or preparedness, response, recovery, and mitigation. You'll see that it's in a wheel and there's a reason for that. Mitigation and prep preparedness are often interchangeable. Um, whether one fo follows the other or whether one is the beginning for the other is really how you, you manage your plan. The elements from personnel to maintenance to engineering to logistics, there's a lot to know. This process is called creating your disaster audit. Once you take all those factors into consideration, determine who's going to be your team leaders, develop your plan, that means you're prepared. You need to know how and when to execute the plan. What are your decision points? What are the critical moments that demands that you decide? That's response. You'll learn to create the pieces you need to recover and what you need to have in place to do that as quickly as possible. Because recovery is actually, some, as described in the class, is actually the, the phase at which you begin to return to what you believe to be normal. The problem is that can take anywhere from six months to two years after a disaster if you're not prepared for it. And finally, what tools you need to mitigate to protect your company, your employees, your customers from the effects of a disaster and better still, prevent that disaster from ever occurring in the first place. This is all about the business of operating your business, managing your employees and protecting your clients and customers. So be prepared to read a lot, think a little differently than you have thus far, and in the end, learn to best manage disaster and risk.